adding multiple characters to your scene to make it look more crowded might be very difficult sometimes. And it can also slow down your machine and your workflow in general. That's why many add-ons have provided a solution for this by generating crowds and adding them to your scene manually. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the newest add-ons that allows you to add crowds procedurally. The add-on is simply called Procedural Crowds, and it was developed by Diffuse Studio, who created the famous add-on called Procedural Alleys. And as I said earlier, the add-on allows you to bring your scenes to life by adding crowds to it. However, the add-on does not stop there because it also allows you to control the crowd you add and you can do this according to what you exactly need. So you can choose to add between six different crowd types and each type comes with its own preferences and settings. The first crowd type is called audience and here you can add a stack of people at once where you can change the length and the width of the crowd and you can also change an object for a character to look at. In addition, you can choose a ground object for the crowd to adapt to. Generally speaking, this type of crowd will be perfect for creating concerts, festivals, and carnival goers. The second type of crowd that the add-on has is called Circle, and this one is similar to the previous one. The only difference is, the crowd is scattered around the circle. You can choose the radius and the thickness of the circle, and also decide whether you want a complete circle or just part of it, which is a nice option. The people will be standing and looking at the center of the circle, or you can make them look at a specific object that you choose. Next, the third crowd type allows you to make a crowd follow a specific curve that you draw manually, which is really interesting. In this type, you will find more parameters than the previous two, and this gives you a lot better and much more control. You can adjust the width, the number of people, and also change the people randomization and speed of the people. The characters will be walking, and you can choose a ground object for the crowd to adapt to. The fourth crowd type is where it starts to get really interesting, and it is called March. Here you can create a marching group of people formed as armies in formation. You can choose the number of rows and columns, and change the march length and space between the people. You can also use this in many cases, such as a protest march or an army troop marching. Next, the fifth type is also very cool, and you can use it basically in almost any case. It makes your crowd march in random motion where every character will walk randomly or follow a specific point. And what's great about choosing this type is you can set up what will be the ground in addition to obstacles for the people that can cross which will allow you to have cool looking animated scenes. The last and sixth type of crowds is called stadium and as its name suggests, you can use this one to populate your stadiums and make an audience or fans. You will be able to fill stadium stands and you can use your own meshes or predefined stand where you can adjust the height, width and slope as well as a bunch of other parameters. And to give you a better idea about the add-on, there are 20 different high quality 3D photo scanned human models, with each model having a color variation and accessories which will make up over 30 varieties of models. And this will make the crowd look really random, which is exactly what we need to create something that looks realistic. Additionally, you'll be able to find various crowd animations, with the human character's animation changing according to the type of crowd that you select, for example, standing still, walking, or cheering, which is really impressive. Also, the add-on allows you to add individual humans meaning you can select and choose between the models available and add them individually without the crowds. And you can also assign animations to them from a predefined list. And you can choose to either use low poly models or high poly models that are more detailed and suitable for close-up shots. And like the add-ons that we reviewed recently, this one is really easy to use and it is suitable to use for both beginners and professionals. You just need to install it inside Thunder and assign the asset folder that you get with the add-on. After that, you will find all the features we mentioned earlier in the end panel of your 3D viewport. Generally speaking, Procedural Crowds is an amazing tool that allows you to easily populate your scenes in just a matter of seconds, which is really useful for different projects and for different 3D artists. And it is powered by geometry nodes, making it really powerful, especially when modifying the crowd where you can adjust as many settings as you want according to your specific needs. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. 
I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to stay updated with topics and videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.